Placement of solar tables is always performed per field and can be done for one or more selected fields in a single run. We now go to the placement tab in Helios palette and select our field north. In the field properties you can see that requirement type default is selected. As you can see by the red colored message we still have to select some tables for this requirement type. For that we go to the tables tab. In this list there must always be at least one requirement type. How to use multiple requirement types we will explain in another tutorial. The first button you can use to add another requirement type. We go and add a table definition from our list. Here we select our demo table 5 times 10 from a former tutorial. As you can see the next smaller table definition has been added to the list too but only the directly selected one has been hooked. So if we now start a placement only the first table definition will be placed. We hook the checkbox for the next smaller table for better utilization of available space. The other buttons in function line are delete table definition from the list, refresh the list, move table definition upwards or downwards, edit article, edit parameters of a table definition or load table definition into table generator. Here we go back to the field tab and have a look at the placement options. First we can load some options from an existing profile, save the current profile as a new one or override an existing one or we can select and manage a profile. We can then rename it, delete it or set it as drawing or global default. For this simple run we set the table pitch to 30 degrees and enable the table distance and set it to 0.3 meters. With these settings we start the auto placement. In an automated placement the place for the first table definition will be selected automatically. As you can see in the drawing there are gaps in placement. The red title of the statistic tab shows you that some warnings occurred during placement. We go to the statistics tab and can see that 649 tables have been placed in 22 rows. During this procedure 50 warnings occurred. For these tables the maximum side pitch angle has been exceeded. Warnings in this place means that there have been conflicts between the setting of the table parameters and the given terrain characteristics. So in this case our placement was successful according to our settings. We now select our field south and go back to the field tab. As you can see we have again to select some table definitions for our requirement type default. Before we do that we first set the table pitch to 30 degrees and the table distance to 0.3 meters. Now we go to the tables tab and select our two table definitions again. Now we can start the outer placement. The green title of the statistic tab shows us that no warnings occurred this time. The result of the table placement shows that 604 tables have been placed in 22 rows. At the end of some rows you can see that the next smaller table definition has been placed so the gaps at the end of a row are as small as possible. Now we successfully finished two simple placements.